Okay, we're not going to waste anybody's time here. We're going to get right into this. Part 1, purchasing a sloop is optional. But if you want to do this with just a friend and two sloops, here's what we chose to do. We signed on. We just went about our business. There was a skeleton fort up. Wrecked a galleon of sweaty tryhards. And, uh... That's that. They went down. Cash in most of the loot. We kept a stronghold chest and some spices. Rolled up on a sloop. Made them an offer. Gave these uh, lower ranked players some... Uh, we offered them the stronghold chest and uh, some spices, like I said. They took the deal. And uh, All right. when we got back to the outpost, one of them left their party. They invited me to their party. And... All of a sudden, we were riding in style. Now, uh, that's basically part one of the video. These boats are looking pretty fresh with these red paint jobs, I must admit. I hope you agree. Now, uh, moving on. We're starting out with the Duo Thrones first. Duo Thrones Marauder's Arch, number five. Now, you could park the sloops on both sides of the throne so you can shoot yourselves back and forth this is by far the most difficult throne if you guys only have to spend a few minutes here you lucked out now uh, this is just uh, two quick examples of shooting yourself from ship to ship if you fail and then this next clip is what you probably should do when you get there and don't do what you saw in the first two clips this angle is by far better boom there you go that's that. Number four. Shipwreck Bay. We just got some uh, parkour here. Cannon not necessary on this one. You can still use it if you want. I don't know if a regular sword lunge will get you here. You're probably going to have to do the blocking blocking jumping sword lunge to get here if you don't know how to do that it's in one of my tips videos but you just hold black charge up a sword attack and then jump after your pl your player starts moving forward now number three plunder outpost this one's not too bad, but if you have a bad angle, the rock will deflect you. You get if you if you have a glancing hit on the rock, kind of like I did, but I got lucky. You can easily get sent back down, so try and have a good angle on that one. And remember, these are the duo sloop thrones, so you are going to need two people in separate crews to do these. Then you'll show up at Cannon Cove and you see a guy running with a keg. And, uh. But his friend's standing right there. You wave at him. He, the guy claims that he's friendly. He claims that he's friendly, but I just saw his buddy with the keg. So I don't know what to think at this point. So, uh. I mean, if this guy's. This guy says he's friendly, well. Guess what? We're friendly too. Uh, yeah, so there's that. We're just trying to clear this place out so we can do the quest. And uh, this guy tries to keg me. How that did not explode the barrel, I'll never know. But either way, this guy uh, decides to commit suicide. And I don't know if he thought the keg would sink the boat, but either way, he's dead. So, yeah, we're still at Cannon Cove here. This one's not too bad. A lot of area to land up here. I still almost managed to miss. And I didn't want to jump down there with a broken leg and fall in the hole, so... I'm just going to end the clip right here. And now for the final crew-based thrones. 
you head to the northwest rock of Smuggler's Bay. This one is not on Smuggler's Bay, but it is on this rock to the northwest of Smuggler's Bay. If you park close, you can get here with a sword lunge or launch yourself from a cannon. It's going to have to be a jumping sword lunge, but it can be done. And there you have it. That rounds out the crew-based or duo thrones. And now we move on to the next phase. Now we're on to the solo thrones. Number five. This is at N10. November 10 on the map. This is a unmarked island on the map. Uh, and this clip's kind of long. It took me a minute to find this, but uh, you should probably bring a uh, banana or two with you. The swim can get kind of long. Even I got lost trying to find it, and then... Magically, I just, I don't know, I swam up and I found it. I hope, hope you guys are able to find that easier than it was for me, because I thought I was just going up for some air right there, and magically I'm where I needed to be. Good luck. Number four. Hidden Spring Keep. I would definitely use this watchtower, then you don't have to deal with your boat rocking back and forth from the waves. Way better to shoot yourself from a... from somewhere that isn't moving. Number three, we have Mermaid's Hideaway. This one comes with a backup plan. There was the throne I just missed by a lot. But uh, if you miss this cannon right here, there you go. Number two, Thieves Haven. You can just park next to this rack, run along your sail. Not too bad. Easy enough. I don't know if I said it already, but that was Thieves Haven. And the final solo throne devil's ridge you want to park on the northwest corner of the island it's tough to see the throne from your boat but it's there and then uh once you're all done you can head to the bar i wasn't gonna buy the dress 
But I got the hat and the uh, and the coat. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second here. Now I did buy one one order of souls rep. Now I had initially thought you could only buy one rep gain per faction, but people are saying on Reddit and the forums that you could spend all your bilge bucks on the same faction. You're just gonna have to look up how to do it. But it's just so you guys can see how much it gives you. And if you're a high level and you're close to fifty, that was that is a welcome boost. That is a welcome boost. Even though it might not seem like much, that that definitely helps out. And I ended up saving uh, saving my, the final thirty of my bilge bucks. But there's the outfit. Uh, I know my boots don't really match, but uh, looks pretty nice. And uh, thank you for watching. And feel free to check out some of my other uh, tips and tricks vids. Uh, have a great day.